what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is kind of a haul because I spent way too much money at Disney World, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's, fine. it's over and done with. I'm going into like my post-vacation blues. I've literally been home for 12 hours and I'm already going into my post-vacation blues. So I figured filming this video would be like a fun way to reminisce on my trip. So um, everything I bought, I bought with my own money. I saved up for this trip for like six months. Um, what I was doing was I was just buying like gift cards every time I got paid. So I was buying $50 gift cards every paycheck I got for a few months. So I did bring about five, six hundred dollars with me because um, I knew at the expo, if you guys didn't know, I did run Disney wine and dine weekend. That stuff can get really expensive. And so I spent almost like $300 alone at the expo just on shirts and stuff, um, which I'm going to wear obviously because they're workout clothes. But the long sleeve shirts that I'm going to show you guys did come with my race bib, like my packet. Um, so I didn't pay for those obviously, but I didn't want to go in there with a tight budget. If I didn't spend everything, I'm like, if I didn't spend all my gift cards, that's fine because I am going back in February and potentially January. Um, but I just did want to have enough money to spend with me and, <clears throat> and okay, let's just, let's just jump into it. I'm going to show you guys literally everything I bought. So, um, we'll start with ears. So these are the, I bought two ears. Last year when I went, the rose gold ears were like super limited. They only came out to the stores like every few months and stuff and I could never get my hands on them which I actually prefer it that way because now anyone can get the rose gold ears and I just feel like they're not as like coveted anymore and I don't know I liked it when they were like super limited and you can barely get them but I got to Disney and my stepmom and dad surprised me with the pairs this is what they look like I literally love them so much they're so beautiful if you guys are wondering this is the pair that I had from last year and I did order a few on Etsy that didn't come in time but whatever so I got the rose gold ones these are the 2018 ears and I love these because I'm a huge stitch person so I like to wear a lot of blue shirts to the park like stitch shirts and these match. I'm a huge big huge matchy person but whatever yeah. So these are the 2018 ears and they look like this. I think they're so pretty. They're bigger. They're super sparkly and they have this on them and I think they're so fun and awesome. So I have those three ears and then I bought a second, I don't know where they are, there's such a huge pile of stuff here guys. I bought a second pair of these ears for my sister because she's a huge Disney person and she really wanted a pair. So I just bought her a pair of the sequin original ears. What's next? I guess I'll do, I'm just gonna like go randomly. Um, I did get a new sparkle skirt. If you guys didn't know, Run Disney races are huge and it's like a big thing to get sparkle skirts, which are basically just these like super cute sequin skirts that you can like run in with leggings underneath for races and they just, a lot of people dress up for Disney races. So this is the one I had from last year. It's my mini one. And then this year my stepmom surprised me with a rose gold one. So I ran this for the half. It looks like this. It's super cute. Yeah. Like I said, you just like put it on top of like, you know, like here and it run and it just looks really cute and stuff. They're huge in the States. You know, I wear it and I, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually an annual pass holder now, which is so exciting. And it like, it was worth it to me because I go down, I'm going to be going down more than twice a year. And it's, if you guys know, pass holder is just like entry to the park and free photos and stuff. And you get discounts on like, you get 20% off merchandise and then you get like a lot off of hotels and stuff and you get like special promotions and stuff. So it was worth it to me. So I got a big discount on like a lot of this stuff. So anyways got a cute nike hat i think it's so cute it's just like a little mickey on the front i'm not like a huge fan of like crazy hats i guess maybe because i'm not a guy i don't know but i like very simple hats and this is just very cute and yeah for my sister for her birthday i forgot to show you guys because it's so cute i love their spirit jersey so much this is the one i got her it's like a mini one so it goes like this and then it has polka dots on it and then the back just says Walt Disney World. So I got that for my sister for her birthday. Love this one. Oh my God, I saw this and I was like, yeah, I need this. I love the color of this one. Anyways, it's a, obviously another spirit jersey. It has the little logo on the front. Oh my gosh, just love this like textured color. And then obviously the back just says Walt Disney World. Cause this is something I could just wear to school and stuff and super big and cozy. I think I got it in like a large. Wow. Oh, I guess I'll show you guys the shirts I got from Etsy before I left because it's still kind of like Disney themed. Um, so I have this one for Hollywood Studios, which is my favorite park because Toy Story Land opened. It's this cute shirt and it says Andy on it, like the bottom of his boot. And it's just like this cute kind of tank top. Got that on Etsy. I'll link all those down below for you guys. I got these that I wore a few days at the park. It says I'm only a morning person when I go to Disney. 
and this one's my favorite because it matches my rose gold ears but it just says bibbidi bobbidi brew and this is my magic kingdom shirt so i got those off of etsy before i left as well two mugs so this mug came my dad if you guys don't follow me on instagram or snapchat or anything i'll put the picture here um but my dad actually surprised me with well mickey mouse surprised me with flowers when i got here um and it came in this cute little mug the flowers were like in it and it's so cute it's like a little mini and it's so cute and i love it um and then it came with this note that's super cute and i'll read to you guys because it's so cute it says misty carter love you and welcome back love your favorite mouse so i'll insert a picture of the flowers for you guys to see that but i thought that was so cute and then i got this one i'm trying to like scale back on my mug obsession because it's seriously really bad but I, I couldn't resist this one and I didn't have any Disney mugs. So it looks like this. It's like cartoony, which I love about it. So it's got all four parks on it and I literally love it. It's so cute and cartoony. I think that's why I love it. I just think it's so cute. And it says, oh, well, Disney World inside. And I just think it's literally the cutest cup in the world. The scary Halloween party. And we went on the 30th and it had been going on for two months. It started in August. So the clothing selection was kind of crappy, but whatever, it's fine. because. I'm a huge Nightmare Before Christmas fan and I got this. It's in like a 2XL, but I didn't care because I wore it as a dress at the Halloween party because I didn't dress up. I'll insert a picture here. It was actually kind of a really cute outfit. It is just like this baseball tee. It's super big. It was like super comfy to sleep in throughout my trip. And it just says the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's the 25th anniversary. So that's what it looks like. And it's just giant and I, um, random, but I got a pair of sunglasses while I was there because I lost mine. What else do I have? I'm trying to leave all the expo stuff for the end for you guys. Got these two shirts because they were like, if you buy two, you get them for 20 bucks each. I don't like the material. They're like men's shirts, so they're, yeah. But I love the print on this one. I figured it'd be super cute if I went, because when I go in January and February, it'll be a bit cooler. So I'll be able to like wear this tucked in with jeans or even just like to bed and stuff. I got this one in a large and it's a men's shirt, but it just, I love it. It's like very vintage looking and... I think it's super cute I also got this one which is also very vintage looking but the color is more coral it's not coming up on screen but like guys look how cute that is that is so cute figure tucked into some jeans that would be literally adorable or even like I could totally wear this to school and stuff got a crew neck because I had to I don't have enough crew necks and this one's super cute and just says Walt Disney World and it's a crew neck and it's warm I got it in a large so it'd be a bit big on me and yeah I love it. So comfy. Wore that on the way home. Totally awesome. I think all I have left is expo stuff. Oh, no, I lied. I got these earrings. Oh my god, I'm really just, I spent a lot of money. It's fine. Got these really cute earrings because I didn't have anything like Disney themed and I want something like small and delicate. So this is just the park collection jewelry. Okay, guys, it's birthstone. I didn't get my birthstone because I'm a ruby and I don't like rubies, but whatever. I got these ones. They are so cute. They're just little Mickey ears. I don't know if you can make them out, but they're little Mickey ears. And I just thought they were something super simple and I could like literally wear them on like a vacation. I can even wear them at home. They're that they're that cute and simple and stuff and just like a little little piece of Disney that's with me every day, you know. Oh my god, I'm so emotional. Next pins and stuff. That jazz I think is in here. I'm a huge pin collector if you guys didn't know. I didn't bring my pins down this year to trade because I like to just buy a few every trip. I'm actually going to, I have a cork board and I'm gonna spray paint it like Disney colors and hang it up on my wall. Um, but I got a few fun pins and stuff so I figured I would show you guys those. Where so long story short, a cast member actually gave me this pin. It's a super coveted pin. They go on eBay for pretty crazy amounts of money um, because it was a special event and then after the event was over they destroyed all the pins and then a few cast members found some and now they give them out to people. So I got it. It's one of the it's Cinderella's little stagecoach thing and I got that and I'm never giving it away because I promised the cast member I wouldn't but I got that given to us. And then I got to this pin. I thought it was so cute. If you guys don't know I'm a huge Alabama college football fan. So I got this super cute little look at his little thank you like football i to pretty much like i have pins from all my favorite rides at all four parks and then i get a pin every year so i have like a 2017 pin i have a 2018 pin um like all that stuff and then i did get a toy story land one because it just opened this year so this is the one i got super cute i'm a huge toy story fan it's literally my favorite disney movie so got that i didn't go as wild on the pins this year last year i bought like almost 20 pins it's ridiculous um 
I simmered down a little bit. And then I also got this magnet because if you guys didn't know, um, in the fall is the Epcot International Wine and Dine Food Festival. So you can pretty much go around the world and try like little sampler dishes of everything. It's awesome. They have alcohol. Awesome. Lots of food. It's great. It's, it's honestly amazing because everything's like pretty small. So you can try a lot of different places. But if you're a pass holder, you get this magnet. So I got this magnet. I'm kind of scared to put magnets on my car though because like I don't want it to ruin my car. But whatever. Cute little... Thing I got. I figured I'd show you guys this too. My parents made us family shirts this year, which was so cute. Um, so they just say in my hair in my favorite place with my favorite people. And it's like this kind of sparkly print, and then the back just like has all of our names on it. Kind of cheesy, but I love it. Okay, so moving on to expo stuff that I bought. If you guys didn't know, it was the wine and dine race weekend this weekend. It was my first half marathon, my first challenge, which is the 10K plus half marathon, which is around 31 kilometers, 19.3 miles. It was great, it was awesome. I'm not as sore as I thought I would be the next day. It went great, it went like amazing. So every year I get a pin from the expo. Expos are huge. If you guys have ever done a race, you know what an expo is. It's just basically like this big exhibition with like different vendors and stuff. And let me tell you, Disney ones are crazy. If you don't get that on the first day, everything sells out. Like by the next day, they literally had nothing left in stock. They're absolutely crazy. We waited in line for like an hour for it to open. It was insane, but I'm really happy because I got a lot of cute stuff. So this is the metal I got, or this is the pen I got this year. I got just my race one. I didn't get the actual wine and dine one. I just got my 13.1 Disney. So they have like run Disney merch, which is just like the actual like brand that does the running. And then they had like event shirts, like wine and dine weekend shirts. Does that make sense? Like run Disney does the races so this is just like a generic run disney magnet i got just says 13.1 on it and then i did get the wine and dine challenge when i got it says i did it and it's got like champagne and lumieres on it and it's super cute so i got that I got a mug a stemless mug um and it just says wine and dine on it i don't know if you guys can tell it's kind of hard to tell and then it just has all the races on the back of it i thought it was super cute and it has like a little lip so i can probably drink coffee out of this love it and it's plastic so i can bring it to work okay so i got with my entry i got three shirts so i got the half marathon shirt I got the half marathon shirt the tanky shirt and then the challenge shirt so these are the ones that came with my entry they were long sleeve which is awesome i was really worried about it being in florida and not getting a long sleeve shirt because i live in canada and it's cold and i love them so the back just has all the sponsors on them they're the same for all the shirts so i'm not gonna show you the back but this is the wine and dine this is the 13.1 half marathon shirt love the 10k shirt like oh i just look at this color it's amazing this is the 10k shirt that i got and my challenge shirt i wore this yesterday so it's probably inside out this is the challenge shirt, just says two course challenge, 19.3 miles. That's what it looks like, it's long sleeve, it's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I kept my bib, <laughs> I'm so cheesy. I kept my bib because, you know, I hang up all my bibs and stuff. It's an important thing, you know, it was my first half marathon. It's kind of crazy. Um, okay, so these are the ones, these are the additional ones that I bought, I actually didn't get that many. Um, so I bought this cute tank top because I loved the color of it. This is a two course challenge like I did it shirt. Um, so this is just another one. This is a separate one I bought. It's just a purple tank top and I love the color. The back is like kind of slouchy and it has a pocket in it. So I said a generic run Disney one and it's a long sleeve. I could actually probably wear this to the barn too because it's a quarter zip. But I love the color and I need more running clothes for the winter. So I figured like hey why not get Disney one. So the run Disney slogan is every mile is magic. So that's what it says along the back. And then it has it kind of flares out a bit which is cute and then the front just looks like this and it says run disney and it looks like that and it's a quarter zip and it is so this one has i love this one so much so it says i did it on it and it says 13.1 miles this is my half marathon finisher shirt and then that's the back of it i think it's super cute oh and then i walked around with this all week it's my i'm celebrating pin and i wrote my first 13.1 and i'm gonna keep that and it's gonna be a really cute memory Guess I'll show you guys my medals in case anyone wants to see them. Changes every year. So the 10K theme was clearly... 10K theme was the lobster from Ariel. And then the chef is on here somewhere. I don't know where he went. He's on there right there. So this is the 10K medal. Super cute. I'm so excited to hang these up. I think they're so cute. This is my... 
half marathon medal. It's like rose gold. I'm obsessed. It's so cute. And it just says a wine and dine. It has Chef Mickey on it. And then this is what the half medal looks like. Lumiere and the clock's name. I don't remember his name. This one is Lumiere. Two cores and like, oh, look at this cute metal. It's so cute. And I want to give a huge shout out to my dad's company. This is not obviously sponsored or anything, but my dad did start like an activewear company. And I figured I would talk to you guys on my channel about it because I love the products. Obviously, and I just want to give a huge shout out to my dad. So the brand and stuff, like on Expo Day, we kind of promoted the brand and stuff. I'm actually going to be taking over the social media for them, which is really exciting. Um, I love this guy. It's so cute. So it's, it has this little logo here, which is Papa Sully. And then on the side, on the sleeve, I don't know what it says. It says Gulf Coast. 2018 edition. I don't know if you can see this. These are like the perfect shirts for riding and stuff. I love riding in these long sleeve shirts. Like, they're awesome. It says Gulf Coast 2018 edition. I love riding in these shirts. So you guys should definitely check them out. And then the back says Papa Sully ride runs and rays because I thought that was super cute and I wanted to give him a little bit of a shout out. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't want this to come across as bragging at all, but I love watching Disney World hauls. I don't know why. It's just something I like to do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully, I don't know. If you guys go to Disney sometime soon, you saw, you saw some cute things that you would like to get. Like I said, I don't want this to come across as bragging at all. I just wanted to share with you guys what I got and I've been saving up for this trip for a while. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, hit that button down below and click the bell notification so you never miss out on a video. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!